Normally, we can install Python on our computer and we can run Python from anywhere on our computer. So for example, I'm going to run Python and here this Python is going to run. So let's call this Python our main Python. So I'm going to import sys and I'm going to print sys executable. So what this does is that it shows us the location of our main Python. So let's run this. And we can see that my main Python on this computer is in this certain location. So when we pip install external libraries, these libraries are installed into some folder in our main Python. Imagine if we have 100 different Python projects and each of these projects has different dependencies. And we choose to install everything into our main Python. So at this point, our main Python will have all the dependencies from all 100 different projects, which will make it very messy. Also, what if different projects require different versions of the same library? We will be met with a giant headache here. As such, one possible solution would be Python virtual environments. So next, let's create our first Python virtual environment. So we go to terminal and we type this. So because I'm using a Mac, I'm going to use Python 3. If you are using Windows, just use Python. Python 3-M, which stands for module, V-E-N-V, which is the library that we want to use to create our virtual environment. And next, we type the environment's name. So for me, I'm just going to type ENV, but you can type whatever you want. So I'm going to run this. And as you can see here, a folder appears here. So this is our Python virtual environment. So essentially, when we create a Python virtual environment, we create another copy of Python that exists just inside this folder, which is this end folder. So to use a virtual environment, we have to first create it, but we also need to activate it. So since I'm using a Mac, I'm going to use the source command. So source and bin activate. If you are using a Windows computer, do use this command instead. So after hitting enter, we should see something like this, a pair of brackets with your environment name in the middle. So this means that your Python virtual environment is activated. So right now, let's print sys.executable. Import sys and print sys.executable. And if we run this, notice that the location of our Python interpreter is inside this folder. So right now, instead of using our main Python, we are actually using the Python that lives inside this folder. Another thing to note is that when we create a new virtual environment, no external libraries will be installed. In other words, we need to install them ourselves. So let's say we install NumPy and Pandas. And it's done. So here we can do a pip list and we will only have NumPy and Pandas installed. So the rest are stuff that NumPy and Pandas are dependent on. In order to deactivate our Python virtual environment, we simply need to type deactivate and our bracket and will be gone. This means that now we are back to using our main Python. So if we run this again, we'll get the location of our main Python once again. So for the dependencies that are inside your virtual environment, you only need to install them once. And if you activate your environment again, they will still be installed. Lastly, in order to delete our virtual environment, we simply need to delete this folder. So we just delete this and it'll be gone and we can create another environment if we want to. So that's that, and hopefully this makes your dependency management less of a headache. So thanks for watching, and hopefully this was helpful.